everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new WWE action figure news and reveals for us. If you guys were wondering, WWE Elite Series 92, a lot of questions, a lot of things going into this set. You know, uh, how many of the figures are we actually going to get? You know, this guy's gone, this guy got released, this person's in trouble, this person's this. And Elite 92 was up in the air for a while, right? Because the whole wave, you know, people were clamoring that we're only going to get two figures in this set, or like four out of the six people in this set are gone, or whatever the case was. But man, it looks looks to be that none of that stuff matters because the full wave has been revealed to us and I'm excited to bring it to you guys here today man. WWE Elite Series 92 let's go ahead and dive into it with all the speculation now taking a look at it first man we have the Elite Series 92 The Fiend Bray Wyatt as it says on the packaging I don't like the way I said that I don't like to say The Fiend Bray Wyatt it's just a burnt Fiend figure it's a burnt Fiend Bray Wyatt figure and looking at the images we only really have two of them here if I look off screen it's because I'm looking at the, the you know the images as I show them to you. If you guys will, please also let me know down in the comment section below if you uh, prefer this style video where I'm actually in front of the camera, you know, discussing the news with you guys, or do you guys prefer just the images with the background stuff, similar to how we always do the news, but I figured this would be kind of a cool way to kind of change it up a little bit, but taking a look at the Burnt Fiend Bray Wyatt figure, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it, honestly. He's got a weird kind of, you know, in-package image here with his, his hands on his head looking like Ultimate Edition Edge or something like that, but the details on this figure are good, I will say. It just looks a bit wonky, like he kind of looks... He just doesn't look like his Fiend self. He doesn't have that build to him, but I will say this is kind of what the Fiend looked like when he, you know, he had this burnt look to him. The head kind of looks a bit weird. I know his face is literally burnt off, and it's like melting off his face, so it does make sense that it would look kind of weird, but the hair has that brown color. I want to say his hair was like solid black, if I'm not mistaken. I do have a custom burnt Fiend head. I may put this on there or something. I don't know, because you guys know they're interchangeable now. The, like, dark green. I don't know how accurate this figure is. It's kind of what I'm saying, because, you know, different images, different lighting. I don't know what the whole deal was, but I'm sure Mattel did their homework. He does have like his burnt skin on there, which is really crazy. This figure has insane details. I'm sure we're going to get this before Christmas. I bet I'll have a review of this before the end of the year. Don't know if I'll include this wave in my figures of the year countdown. I do want to include Elite 91, but you guys can be the judge down in the comment section below, but this figure looks okay. It's not my favorite figure. Um, I was never big on the Burnt Fiend look anyway. You know, I wasn't like, oh, this is the best thing ever. I was kind of weird on it anyway, so this is just, I don't know probably another injury in my fantasy league. However, the Fiend looks okay. Not my favorite. We'll have to get it in hand, but some of the tooling and stuff maybe can make for some really cool customs and switching them around and stuff. Kind of excited for it. Double jointed arms. It looks kind of cool. We'll just have to see. Let's play it by ear. We'll, we'll get back to you on that one. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, I have to get this. Elite Series 92 Adam Cole, baby. Look at what we got right here, Brad. We have a double jointed arm, beautiful Adam Cole. I will say the, the eyes look a bit weird, but I like this figure. I like this figure. I, I love that we are actually getting the War Games gear. You can't see it fully, you know, because he does have the Adam Cole Bebe shirt on there, which is very nice, and it doesn't look like it's going to be... I don't know why. To me, it doesn't look like it's Velcro. It probably is Velcro. Let's be real. It's probably going to be Velcro, but it doesn't look Velcro. Of course, you also have the uh, the regular version in the teal trunks, or like the greenish teal trunks, which I like as well, but I'm so excited to get another Adam Cole in the collection. The, co the collection of Adam Coles over there is quite, you know, it's, it's growing rapidly, and to add a double jointed one. I can't wait to compare it to the unrivaled one that we get soon enough from Jazzwares, but Elite Adam Cole War Games gear can finally, finally complete the collection, man. I never have to rant on it again. They found a way to create the War Games camo Adam Cole. That would have been one of the biggest, like, busts or legends of WWE Mattel. That would have been insane, right, if we never got that War Games Adam Cole, but we're finally getting it, man. That, that's insanity. I, I, I know you, a lot of you guys are going to be just slow clap for the freaking Adam Cole, man because we actually got it. But diving into the rest of the set, you guys can let me know what you think of the rest of the wave down in the comment section below, man. But let's go ahead and start off with Rey Mysterio. Now, Rey Mysterio, you guys know they love to plug him in every other set now. He's had a ton of figures over the years, right? I mean, he, he probably has maybe the second or third or maybe fourth most elites out of anybody, and he was out of the company for quite a number of years, so that'll tell you something right there. But Rey Mysterio's elite right here, man, it's like a Halloween-esque attire. I honestly don't like this figure. Uh, I mean, at standalone quality, figure's gonna be really good, right? It's gonna feel good in the hand. It's gonna pose really well. You have the singlet torso instead of just the regular torso, but 
another black and white gear man can we get some of his better gears like jesus christ and also he needs mic holding hands he always comes with fists in these like reaching out friday night smackdown intro hands that i always have to talk about but it's the same elite 72 head sculpt that's 20 series this is elite 72 elite 92 20 different series same head sculpt that we've seen on many many occasions from Rey mysterio now please why couldn't this be the new basic head sculpt the the army green gear why couldn't they give us that head sculpt in this orange and black i don't freaking know man but the orange on the gloves is throwing me off between the orange on the rest of the gear so i have a foot itch down here trying to take care of that but he has the black on like it's just so like the plain black boots like if he had orange boots maybe or or something i i just think this figure is so plain jane it could have been so much better his last elite was so far superior to this figure it's just not like it's a good ray mysterio but it's so forgettable it's such a forgettable ray mysterio I, i'm over it uh you got another entrance shirt the ryback entrance vest thing my god I, I don't know you guys can let me know what you think that's just my first opinion there moving on in the set man we're we're gonna get into rick flair now and this rick flair is eh, it's kind of a four horseman style rick flair he's got the yellow and green i do like the figure double jointed arms it's got the battle pack head sculpt that we did see on the giant figure which is kind of cool he has the four horseman shirt which i know a lot of people are going to be excited about a lot of people wanted to see the wcw championship which would have been nice to see in this wave i don't think we have a single title belt in this entire way okay i'm sorry charlotte comes with one which we'll get into but he also comes with the wcw mic he's got the four horsemen hands or the like sort of the signature walk hands a little bit there as to, I, I felt like you could use both of that but he's got the green knee pads on there i want to say this is just an elite version of that battle pack or maybe he was in green in that battle pack but i don't know kind of a bleh figure to me it's not the most exciting figure it's not a horrible figure but a lot of a lot of things were up in the air if this figure would even release but it looks like they did get it out and we'll have to see but let's dive into charlotte flair the daughter of said rick flair and this figure's pretty good at first glance i would say but this one pose that i see right here i'm not really feeling it it kind of looks like a basic doesn't it it kind of looks basic -y. i know it has double jointed arms it's got good entrance hands it has a great head sculpt on it i love the colors of the gear i just feel like it's so saturated and flat there's not a lot of dimension or sculpt going on that kind of creates that basic look to it like on the trunks specifically it has like no like sculpted detail or or anything like take a damian priest elite and look at that sculpted detail through the pants he's got the belt buckle on there it kind it looks like he's wearing pants on this figure it kind of looks like charlotte flair has just body paint on kind of like I, I don't know you guys can let me know what you think but it does have toe pivot it does it's basically an ultimate edition charlotte without the robe and accessories she comes with the women's tag team championship which is really nice but that's just my first glance at it it is a really good charlotte it could it probably will rival the the wrestlemania charlotte it probably won't be as good as that one sorry i was up looking at the figure because it's on the women's shelf up there but it's not my favorite figure by any means you guys can let me know though next up next up though we're rolling into the second woman in this set we have two women in this set and we have a scarlet figure and this figure looks sick from the neck down she looks like a specific actress and if i can find a photo of said actress i will pull it up right next to this picture of the scarlet figure and you guys can let me know but i don't think this looks anything like scarlet like at the slightest i don't think this looks like scarlet whatsoever i think you definitely need to put the head sculpt of the scarlet figure from her basic onto this figure i think that would make it look a, a whole lot better honestly i know the hair is down and everything but the white hair one the blonde hair one doesn't really matter this figure would look far superior uh, with those thing on it but i do think the figure is gonna look really good like i think even if you put boots on her and wanted to put her in the ring or use this body as a creator wrestler put a different women's head sculpt on it paint up like some face paint and debut a new character with these claw hands and these damn spikes on the shoulders and this crown and like the it like replace her stiletto style boots with like some wrestling boots you could make a really cool figure i may do that now i mean i have a, a brain's just going wild with stuff but really sick scarlet figure from the neck down i like the double jointed arms i like everything about the figure looks good except for the head sculpt which i feel is in today's day and age is really important on a figure like super important on a figure but you have your chase variant and adam cole if you guys were wondering what the chase variant was but i had to get on here and cover this because this is big news i think you know uh we're getting the fiend bray white we're getting adam cole we're getting rick flair a lot uh scarlet was also released right so a lot of people in this wave aren't even in the company anymore 
and uh, we're still getting the figures of them. Just, uh, I don't know, man, just kind of a disappointing set. I love the Adam Cole that we're getting. I like some aspects of the way, but overall, I feel like it's a pretty weak set. You guys can let me know down below what you guys think, but that pretty much wraps up the figure news that we had. Again, please let me know down in the comment section below, do you like the one-on-one -on -one interaction like this, where I pull up the images and you guys can see me talking about the figures, or would you rather see the slideshow presentation about the figures and, and zoom in on the images and all those different things? Uh, just let me know. Please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it, man. But thank you guys so very much for watching. That is going to wrap up today's news video. Thank you guys for tuning in and checking out the news. Let me know your thoughts on all these figures and what you think about my news videos going forward. Appreciate it so much. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Do not cross the line like uh, the Burnt Fiend figure, the Scarlet Head Sculpt, the repeated Rey Mysterio, and uh, you know who didn't cross the line, though? Adam Cole's Chase variant. Mattel crossed it, and then they said, no, Brad, I'm going to go back across the line. I messed up, and they fixed it, and now we're getting War Games Adam Cole. They almost did it. Mattel, you almost crossed the line. You crossed the line.